Aurora police officer Nathan Woodyard took the stand in his trial today. He is charged in the death of Elijah McClain. Police arrested the 23 year old while walking home from a convenience store back in 2019. Now, prosecutors argue Officer Woodyard put McClain in a carotid hole that rendered him unconscious and contributed to McClain's death. The Denver 7 reporter and attorney Jessica Crawford in the studio with us tonight. And just today's testimony shed light on what was going through the officer's heads at the time. Absolutely. It also shed light on why Nathan Woodyard made the decision to put McLean in a carotid hold. Now, this is such an emotional, very graphic case, too. People across the country have seen that video of Elijah McLean in the hold that was discussed today. Woodyard claims that he was worried for his own safety. In a surprise move Wednesday, an Aurora police officer charged in the death of Elijah McLean took the stand in his own defense. Who was the first officer to come into contact with Elijah McLean that night? It was me. As you just heard, Nathan Woodyard was the first responding officer. He's the one who put McLean in a carotid hold until he fell unconscious. Throughout his trial, prosecutors argued that Woodyard's actions contributed to McLean's death. Wednesday, he was questioned about his response. He testified while he and other officers were struggling with McLean on the ground, he thought McLean grabbed a gun. I thought he was trying to get a gun to harm somebody, me, the other officers. And that's why he says he used the carotid hold. There's very few things that can that you can do to somebody that we're trained on to stop their actions immediately. Um, the carotid control hold being one of them. So when I applied it, I was attempting to get him to give up or to render him unconscious so he could stop fighting for a gun so that we could put him in handcuffs. At one point, Woodyard expressed regret. And if you could go back in time, you'd take back that carotid hold. Yes. The defense argues it was not Woodyard's actions that killed McLean, instead pointing to the ketamine administered to McLean by paramedics. Woodyard is charged with reckless manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide in McLean's death. Now, for those wondering why he took the stand in his own defense, there could be a legal strategy at play there. He can admit to what he did wrong, establish some trust, and try to get compassion and understanding from the jury. His major challenge, though, is that he is the one seen on that video applying that carotid hold, so he does have the most challenging set of facts of all the officers involved. Reporting in the studio, I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7. Right, Jessica, thank you. So many people watching this one in trial. will resume tomorrow morning at 930, and we have gavel-to-gavel coverage on denver7.com slash Elijah McLean.